Acoustic Room. Today we're going to talk about a way to find hundreds of free folk songs um, to search and find all for free. It's, and it's really awesome and I love it. And I'm still shocked how many people um, don't know about this one. So if you like the content we're pushing out here, the, if it's helpful to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button over on the YouTube side of things. That way you can see when new videos come up. Uh, I'm making a big push now to try and get videos out at least once a week, if not twice a week. So let's get started. I'll put this in the description, but what you're going to want to do is go to Kodai, K-O-D-A-L-Y dot H-N-U dot E-D-U. Uh, Kodali or Kodai is, you know, how most of us know to say it. And man, this kid right here, the one that was just up there, every time that it flips over there, it kind of freaks me out. So anyway, oh man, he looks really excited to be playing too. All right, enough about that. So when we come here, this is um, Holy Names University, although apparently they're not going to go through Holy Names. I've heard they were switching at some point soon, um, moving to Wisconsin. But anyway, so this is like one of the oldest Kodai schools and programs in the United States. And part of what they've been doing is digitizing their folk song collection, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to click search the collection. I've heard they make their, their grad students do this. Um, as part of the progress. I don't know. They're always adding stuff, although it seems like it's slowed down. So anyway, what they have here are uh, notation and activities for 655 different folk songs. Some are variations of each other, so it's it's a little less than that. And some seem to be like almost exact copies, but it's still a huge amount. And so when you first open this up, you see, you know, all 655 in alphabetical order, and it's just crazy and overwhelming. But it's still really good. So here you see recording. And when you see this album symbol or record symbol, whatever you want to call it, it means that there is a recording attached to it. So if you were to like go in here, you would see it says listen. And it would be um, a recording if they have it of the original performer or informant from when it was collected. So I'm not even going to try, but if you look down here, you'll see the informant performer were these two girls from Puerto Rico in 1967, and this would be a recording of them singing this song. You'll also see, this is where it was found from in this book here, so if you wanted to check out the book, that's fine. Um, and this is, a, this is the sheet music, the notation of the song as close as we can you know how it, it gets with these folk songs sometimes it's a little iffy in places so it's as close as we can get oh this one looks really interesting i haven't looked at this one yet when i have to it's got the text down here rhythm accompaniments looks like it's got some ostinati and fun stuff like that keep going down lots of text in this one nice long song i bet it's really i bet it's really nice down here below the songs are the analysis now if you're a kodai person at all or probably a music learning theory person, you totally nerd out on the analysis of songs, like I do. Um, and so you look at each song, and it, and, it, and it gives you the important parts of the song. So this analysis is, is useful for some people if they want to see without having to think too hard. What is this for? So this is fairly complicated, so we're looking at middle school level. Tonal center do, which means it's probably major. Do is where we're going to end up on. Range, a major seven. So it gives you the range there. This is really useful for you. Um, choir type people, you can find some songs in here like that. So if you have like the range of like, like a like a sixteenth, I guess that'd be two octaves, like a like a seventeenth or something, would be like, um, this is impossible to sing. Starting suggested pitch C form analysis. So we have an A, a B, a C, and then the C phrase repeats. Verse chorus type of thing, and rhythms usually going from easiest to hardest, that kind of thing. And if there were activities, there'd be activities there too. And we have other relevant information. Oh, it's a uh, alternate. It's a alternate title, Christmas Carol. So yeah, so um, yeah, you can't go through all 655 of these in any quick amount of time. So how is this like easy? Well, it's this refined search stuff here on the side. Here, I'll move my face again. This is oh man, this is where the the magic comes in. So let's say that I'm oh man, I want to teach something uh, first grade style, so I can come over here. I can click on first grade, and then here's suggested songs for first grade. Now I'm looking at 184. Oh geez, that's still a lot. And they have all these songs, which they which some people analyzed and said, hey, this would be good for first grade. You might look at something and be like, um, I think I'd rather save like Charlie Over the Ocean for kindergarten or something. 
That's or closet key. I usually save closet key for second grade myself personally. Um, so some of these songs might appear in different grade levels and stuff. But now you want to say, uh, I think I need to. Uh, I think I want to focus on you know, ha versus rest. Let's see that one's on here. So we got this. So quarter rest. So I want something with some good quarter rest in it. So you can search it more. Now you've got it down to 17. So you're like, hey, I need a first grade song that has an emphasis on quarter rest. And I've got all these. I forgot to even go over these. So Library of Congress, if it has that book symbol, that means that's where it's found at. Child informant means that it came directly from a kid, which means it's probably pretty authentic. That kind of thing. And game, if it has these little, if it has these kids playing, that means there's a game along with it. So I look at this, I'm like, oh, sweet. Bow, wow, wow. And this is, a lot of you are probably like, wait, yeah, I've definitely heard that one. And you come down here, you see the sheet music. It even has the game that they're going to play with it. They're going to stomp three times for bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Not in that key, because that is really super low. So I apologize for that. So anyway, you're like, sweet. I found this. It's awesome. And then you might also notice, hey, I see a good emphasis on do mi re and do and mi re do would be good for this one because it's got that strong <laughs> at the end um <laughs> stuff like that okay and like oh man so i so let's 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 just pretend that we found that so you search by grade level you can search by rhythmic element or meter or um all that fun stuff Go by form, form of Annapolis game type. He's like, I need an action game, chase game, circle game, uh, all, all that awesome stuff. Love chase games. Kids love that too. All that fun stuff. So just playing around with these is awesome. But uh, if you put the subject, you're like, hey, I really, crime and punishment. Oh, geez, death and afterlife. Well, that's not surprising. But anyway, you're like, I want to do a concert. We're going to do a concert on animals. Well, now you got a whole bunch of animal songs. 72, in fact. You're like, oh, that's too many. I'm doing a second grade concert on animals. I'll do that. Now you're down to 43. Hey, I bet from these you could look through and find some songs to put on your animal-themed concert and that kind of stuff. So all of these are um, open source, what do they call it? Public domain. All of these are public domain songs. So they are, they're free. Like You can make copies of them. You can print these off. We are dancing in the forest. That's a fun one. To print them off, you would just go and you'd uh, then you don't want to share, but you can share this analysis, that kind of thing. The download button here is what you want to do, and then you can print that off if you want to do that, that kind of thing. Fun, awesome stuff. Love it all. Now I will give a um, a little bit of a warning on this that this collection of 655 songs that is still probably growing. Yep. Um, it has some of the old songs now in the, in the modern day, and rightfully so. We're we're getting some pushback, and we should because we should be holding ourselves to a high, higher standard, um, and making sure our songs are authentic to the culture and culturally sensitive. I'm not saying we should forget those songs, but you know maybe don't don't teach songs that were focused on like slavery and derogatory and racist and stuff like that. You know that those things are bad. I don't I don't feel like I'm taking a, a pretty dramatic stance on that some of those things are bad and some of these on here are awesome beautiful songs but they have come out to have um, negative connotations i know this one is one of them uh, i think this is an awesome song i've performed it but it has some negative racial connotations to it so yes it's on there you have to do a little bit of due diligence and making sure that it is appropriate for your kids and your school. So that kind of thing. And I'll talk about that in another video another time. But the focus of this video is showing you hundreds of songs all for free that you can search by concept and by subject and by grade level. And that's hopefully what I showed you today. So like I said, this is kodai.hnu.edu. You don't have to do collection, but you can do that if you want to because it's right here. And search the collection, view all titles, all that fun stuff. And I will put this link in the description below. And also don't forget to check out dynamicmusicroom.com. I post sheet music to a lot of folk songs and I um, compile songs and activities and resources and stuff like that for you to check out. Lots of good stuff. So um, if you like the content we're pushing out, if you thought this was cool, hit subscribe, drop a comment or a like or a dislike. Don't do that. And I will see and talk to you next time.